find you where I keep bleeding I don't know why I got you innocent Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Norvia here So today I'm super excited Because I am doing a segment called Cars and Fashion, my two loves I love cars, vintage cars, up to date cars I just love cars And if you've been watching my channel Then you know I love fashion So, that's what we're going to do and um, we're gonna start off with the fashion part of it. So the first designer in this series is Rosie Asulin. So this is a Rosie Asulin skirt. Look at the details. Beautiful work, I love it. Fabric is amazing. Pleats and some design here. So yes, this is Rosie Asulin. And I pair this beautiful skirt with these Balenciaga knife pumps that I'm obsessed with because they're super comfortable. Then I have on this Zara, basic Zara turtleneck here. I have on this vintage brooch that I had forever. I collect vintage brooches and brooches in general. And I have this, these Gucci sunglasses, cat eyes. I love them. And um, vintage ring and just my trusty Louis Vuitton twice sake bracelet. And that concludes my look. All right, so let me just give you a brief description, a brief history of Rosie Asulin. So she was born in Brooklyn. She is a Brooklyn gal. She attended the Fashion Institute of Technology. Also, she um, is the daughter-in-law of Roxanne Asulin, who is a jewelry designer. So she married, she married Roxanne's son. So that's her mother-in-law, fun fact. Also, she um, interned at Oscar De La Renta. So she got to see Oscar De La Renta, Mr. De La Renta, in all his glory. You know, that must have been amazing. So she did that. She also um, did altering at Lan Van. So she worked for Lan Van as well. So she's just well-rounded and multifaceted. Her designs are just voluminous and very flirty and girly. Yes, so Rosie Asulin debuted her fashion line in 2014 resort wear, and she went on to win the CDF award in 2015. So, if you don't have any Rosie Asulin pieces, I highly recommend that you get yourself some because it's amazing. All right, that wraps that up. Okay, so now we're on to the car part of it, and our feature is, uh, Mercedes-Benz, one of my faves. So, Mercedes-Benz, I'm gonna give you just a brief description of the history of Mercedes-Benz. It's gonna be a lot more history that you could go ahead and look up for yourself, but I'm just gonna give you a brief description of how Mercedes-Benz came about. Mercedes-Benz was first marketed in 1901 by Gottlieb Daimler. Yes, he was an engineer from Germany. That's that part. Then, without even knowing this gentleman, there is Carl Benz. Carl Benz designed the first horseless carriage. So there's that. So that's the first two pieces of um, Mercedes history. Mercedes Benz was named after Emil Jelinek, who was brought in to work with, I think it's DMG, um, which is under Daimler, to, as an engineer. So, they end up naming Mercedes-Benz after his 11-year-old daughter, Mercedes. So that's how Mercedes came into the picture, then Carl Benz. So that's that part. Now we're gonna move on to the patent. So in 1886, Carl, Be Carl Benz patented, um, I think it's the motor, wag motor, motor wagon, yes. And that's how, that's just a brief history of how Mercedes-Benz came into play. Another fun fact, Carl's Ben White, Martha Benz, is the first person to actually try, she's the first person to drive the first car that is. One day she was home with her two sons, I believe they were 14 and 15, and Carl Benz, I mean he was amazing, but I guess he didn't have that drive, you know, to actually promote. So she was like a marketer and an investor within this his business. So she decided to take this, this car out, this first car, and she drove to her sister house. 
That was unheard of back then. It made it all the way to her sister's house. I don't remember the mileage, but it was pretty far, especially for back then. So that's when everybody saw that, okay, so this works. So that was the first, and I believe it was like a three wheel looking cart. It looked like a cart at the time. I'll, I'll pop up a picture so you can see it. So that is a brief history of that. Now let's move on to, we don't want to miss anyone. Um, Daimler uh, bought in, DMG bought in William Maybach. Sounds familiar, Maybach? He was also an amazing engineer. So he also came on the team. Now, we're moving quickly. I want to talk about the emblem, the Mercedes-Benz sign. Here we go. So, a postcard was sent to, um, Damon sent a postcard to his wife. And uh, in that postcard, it was a star, I believe. It was uh, four stars. As years progressed, that four star became the Mercedes-Benz um, emblem. And it cut down to three stars. And what the three stars um, signifies is everything that they want to own. You know, they were very innovative. They wanted to own land, sea, and air. So those are the three points of the stars in that Mercedes-Benz emblem. Isn't that amazing? And Mercedes-Benz goal statement is the best or nothing. And I couldn't agree more. So I think that's just a gist, the gist of the history of Mercedes-Benz. There's absolutely a plethora of information online that you can read into. I'm a Benz gal. So yes, so that is the story of the incomparable, immortal, Mercedes-Benz. Thanks for watching. I forgot some fun details with Mercedes-Benz. So, Mercedes-Benz were at first sports car. It raced in the Grand Prix races and was dominating. Also, the first person, some of the first people to uh, purchase the Benz is, one is Adolf Hitler, who had a bulletproof windshield made on his Benz. And then also the Rockefellers, they also was the first one to um, own a Mercedes-Benz. Hitler also gifted a Mercedes-Benz to, I believe, this prince. I forget his name at this time, but that's another fun fact. I just didn't want to leave that out, so yes. And there's so many more, but you can look that up.